Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add checkpoints or span points in Roblox Studio. Want players to respawn at their last checkpoint, instead of starting over, adding spawn points and checkpoint systems is essential in OB maps, racing games and story adventures. Now in this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to create a working spawn point and update them dynamically using the checkpoints. Now let's start by following these few simple steps. The first step is to add a spawn location. Now you're gonna open Roblox Studio and you're gonna choose a template. For example, I'm gonna choose the template for platformer or laser tag. I'm gonna choose this one and wait for it to be loaded. Now, once the template is loaded, now you're gonna go to the Explorer, right click on the workspace and click on Insert Objects. Just like this, you're gonna see this uh, Insert Objects. You can alternatively press on Control plus L. Here, you're gonna click on, you're gonna search for spawn location and click on it. Now, you can mul place multiple spawn location parts in your map, for example, checkpoint 1, checkpoint 2, checkpoint 3, depending on how much checkpoints you want, and rename each one clearly for organization. Now, the second step is to set the spawn behavior. You can select all your spawn locations, and in property, you're gonna set neutral to false so only players with matching team spawn there and optionally disable allow team change on touch. Now for the third step is to use checkpoint scripts. You can create teams for each checkpoint and assign them through a script like this. This is the script you can copy it. You can pause the video and copy this script right here and you can insert it just like this by clicking on insert objects and you're gonna choose the scripts like this and you're gonna copy it just right here now when player touches a checkpoint trigger change their uh, their team to match the fourth step is to trigger checkpoint with parts now you can add a part invisible if needed and insert a script or touch the event to update player's team and on that they'll respawn at the corresponding spawn location and there you go now your players can progress and respawn from where they left off. This is great for OBs or level based maps. And that was it for today's tutorial. If you liked this video and found this helpful, please like and subscribe and feel free to leave a comment below the video if you have further more questions about this topic. Thanks for watching and see you again in the next tutorial.